Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 498. I'm your host, Summer Sanzo, and we finally got some news for you this week. Yes, I know it's been a while, it's almost a month or so. I, I, I have a feeling where this is going to be a trend where the news podcast is going to pop out once a month. That is not reassuring. But anywho, we got some news for you this week, um, compiled of course, uh, just because of how sparse the news is. But anywho, a uh, new sing-along version of My Little Pony, A New Generation, releasing on Netflix July 18th, meaning it's already out and I checked it out. So, <clears throat> a new listing by Netflix has revealed an upcoming sing-along version of the My Little Pony, A New Generation movie. It doesn't look like it's specifically... Uh, sorry. It's specifically new in any way, but the song will most likely include lyrics and the usual karaoke motion graphic if their YouTube version of this are an indication. Uh, okay, yeah, so <clears throat> it's just um, the new generations except uh, there's karaoke tracks or sing-along tracks at the bottom which is fine and dandy I guess I mean nothing much to say I mean it's fascinating I try I, I check it out and it's there if you want to I, I guess but in all honesty G5 song list is not as memorable as G4 and I'm just stating the earlier versions of, or the earlier songs instead of the later ones. I, I guess this is, I won't say the purest in me, but I guess earlier versions of the song were more memorable um, with the wrap up and so on. Obviously back in the days people did remixes and whatnot, so that kind of buried into the mindset of how good those songs were. Uh, now with this one, I, I don't really hear a lot of remix. Hmm. Could be the YouTube uh, copyright thing, but I don't know. I don't make songs. But anyhow, let's move on to the next one. And you know what? I'm going to bounce stories a bit because this one seems related. <clears throat> the G5, uh, this G5 giant LMP statues. All right. So, <clears throat> we have a little bit of minor news out in China this morning. Uh, a big event happened yesterday based around their release of the G5 movie and includes, uh, and includes in the mix of these neat statues and uh, they had displayed, they had on displays, right? Uh, it's always fun to see what crazy marketing materials has become up with around the world, uh, get more shots of the event below. So, yay, uh, cuckoo, cuckoo. Uh huh, alright. Um, uh, this is right up, let's check it out. <clears throat> Honestly, I got no idea what kind of app is this. Uh, could be China specific or something, because I, I got no idea. But anyway, uh, My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Uh, posted in Beijing iPhone client from Equestria. Okay. Uh, you can't escape! <laughs> okay. <laughs> no one can escape the cute storm shining summer premiere of My Little Pony New Generation. Emoji emoji. Um, hugging emojis. It's so cute, so happy, and so much fun. Both adults and children are crude, crude by emoji rainbows that bring painting style and energetic singing and dancing of My Little Pony, the new generation. On Saturday, your happiness is waiting for you at the cinema. The movie is on pre-sale. Buy tickets and buy tickets now and be happy. That sounds a bit aggressive, but the, the you can't escape is something that mm, 
<laughs> but uh, it seems that uh, they had a pre-release event or release screening for fans and yeah it looks cool a lot of kids were there uh, some parents some teens i think bronies probably who knows and yeah uh the event looks pretty cool other than that i don't much have much to say um it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so let's move on to the next news and next news is uh, Rene, uh, Renegade Studios post breakdown of My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game. <clears throat> if you're a fan of deck builders, we are a month away from the August 2022 release of the My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game that, uh, that we have been posting teasers for the past few months. Renegade has uploaded an entire explanation, uh, an, an ex entire explanation on the game over on uh, on their website, delving into what you can expect from the overall gameplay, including examples, uh, cards with Rarity, Twilight, and Pinkie Pie. Uh, links below. All right. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take a look. See, so. <clears throat> Pinkie Pie, the name is up there, the cast mostly pink, you have a cutie mark, you have the character, which I think this is official, this is a new art of her, and then um, we see that, okay, um, standing side, that seems to be on all of the cards, uh, and her ability or her card text says, flip and play to Earth pony or horseshoe to allow each player at your location to sing or hum a song to draw one card and there's a black card here right so uh, there seems to be a pattern here okay um yep yep yep, yep. uh let's let's go click because i am so confused so yay uh-huh <coughs> No, thank you. Uh, okay, so preview. All right. Um, Todd self wouldn't be awesome. Okay. Uh, flip and play to info. Okay, so this is info. Blue cubes. All right. Uh, so this is help. All right. And what does rarity get? Oh yeah, info. Help, info, and what's this? Move. Alright. Um, mm -hmm. From what I can tell from what they talk about before, the deck building game is mostly a uh, co-op, cooperative gameplay game where everybody on the board helps each other to uh, advance the game but as much as I can remember um, oh man like without really looking into it I got no idea what to say uh, deck builders are not really my kind of gameplay style and yeah it says uh, a cooperative card game for one to four players you would think it would be six uh, where your goal is to build your deck with cool cards and collect sugar cubes along the way before these nasty clouds put a damper on your efforts. Once clouds start accumulating quickly, it could spell the end of the game. You will have to endure the calamity of situations, hurdles, and a final challenge. So show... Um, so show this hardship the magical power of friendship. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, looks fun. And honestly, I, I got no idea. I, I just need to probably get my hands on it and try and play the game in person and whatnot. Who knows? Maybe there's somebody out there. But overall... Um, Looks like a fun idea, fun game. Um, it sh I, I forgot to see the price. It shouldn't be that expensive, right? 
uh, no pricing yet. My guess it would be around uh, under fifty dollars, probably. It's kind of a deck building game, and most deck builders are quite expensive. Um, the start at least, and then uh, you can slowly um, buy more um, expansion kits. Let's see what they have, like the the ones that they have now in store. Ah, see, under fifty. So, oh, thank you. Like the GI Joe deck building game, they have it's like thirty dollars for pre-order. And yeah, um, seems like most of their stuff are at fifty dollars or below, depending on what you want to get. Ah, cool, cool, cool. So anywho, let's move on to the last news for the week. Get your OC pony in to tell your tales. A store in Sweden called uh, Likia has started a contest up allowing people to submit their original ponies for a chance to, uh, at being shown on the actual Tell Your Tale YouTube series. This is limited to Swedish citizens only and anyone over the age of 13 according to their rules. So it's pretty limited for the overall pony fandom. But if, you're, but if you match those points, you can find the entry and template for it over here. I wonder if the rules are in English or almost that. Uh, Goodness. I am human. Trust me. <coughs> ah, boats. They want to see boats. I, goodness me. I'm guessing they won't have it in English. No, no English, yo. Okay, that's a waste of time. Alrighty then. So, yeah, if you're from the Swede, uh, if you're from Sweden and you're interested in ponies, this is a good way to do so. Let's see what the pictures have to say. Oh man, that's still tiny. Um, yeah, so what I'm guessing is you draw your character on their, what you call this, template. Uh, you, you make your character, you draw your character, color it, then submit it to their website and if you're the lucky few, They'll probably put it in the background also, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm guessing uh, Tell Your Tales output is pretty fast. I'm guessing, I'm not 100% sure. So um, probably you have your character in fast, soon, I don't know. And I'm trying to remember, didn't Tell Your Tales well, wasn't it made in Malaysia? I'm just trying to remember because I really don't remember. I felt like it was. <clears throat> so anywho, uh, that's the news for this week. And well, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing my week or month. So one of the few things that happened recently with me was I was put in charge of uh, organizing a Magic the Gathering Commander League. So that took a bit of my time in terms of what I had to do. Um, my responsibilities were to create um, what do I what did I do? Um, to create um, not really rules. They're kind of uh, rules, meta rules for the uh, tournament and I had to create some kind of point system where uh, if player does or make players do something to gain points and whatnot and um, had to calculate points to make sure who was up and down and so on so on so on so on so basically it was a lot of that uh, on top of that, I uh, had the Magic the Gathering thing, sorry, no, um, D&D, uh, D&D thing that I was doing on, uh, what you call this, o over here, uh, where I post stuff, uh, had games and so on, so yeah, um, 
other than that, nothing much really besides uh, that. Like most of the month that has been keeping me busy, and since the uh, yeah um the magic event uh, the league ended and I was hurled into another one. Uh, good thing that was a one day only, but that wow that uh I thinking about it right now uh, had to handle around twenty six people. And that that was a big headache for me. I know I should have um, gotten used to it because from previous events, but you you never do like unless you do it on a weekly basis or regular basis, you you won't really get used to handling a lot of people. <clears throat> but other than that, um, yeah, that, that's it. That that's the few things that been keeping myself busy for the this month. I uh, hope August comes in and we have more pony news so I can do this regularly because man doing it once a month is not something that I want to do. I, I enjoy doing this just that if I have to record one news it won't be worth the time and effort. Like I would love to report on three to four or five news and glad that um, by the end of the month we got some so yay I guess so anywho yes um, let's move on to the next topic and yeah um, let's wrap it up let's wrap it up so if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact uh, sorry you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com you can also reach us on the twitters the show's twitter account is at MBS show and my personal twitter account is at Norman Sanzo uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on FunnyLive.com. Um, also please do subscribe and rate us on the iTunes and Stitch Radio for the Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, Tatera, and also Jacob reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies, and so on. Uh, sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and that can be anime, cartoon, comic books, mangas, movies, and video games, and so whatever. So, and <clears throat> if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag. And also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll, guys, catch you next week, I hope, with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!